Nintendo Switch is a good console. It never hurt anyone. It's only been a good boy. So please, tell me why. Why? Why the Nanaka Smitch is a thing? I don't remember seeing this in the direct. Yes, my sweet little wafflings. What we have here is a bootleg Nintendo Switch made in... Ooh, what's it gonna be, baby? My money's on Russia! Colombia. Well, that's definitely a new one. They got coke there, right? It's all starting to make sense now. Now, I wish I could sit here and say, I can't believe this thing is real. But unfortunately, in this day and age, I can 200% believe that this thing exists. So, uh, where do we begin? With the design? It's clearly a Switch knockoff with cheap hollow Joy-Cons that feel like you can crush them with just a little bit of pressure. The screen is also tiny. It's just a box. Unlike the Switch that has a long screen, the Smitch feels like you took a normal Switch and cut it in half, making it technically more portable than the real Switch. But then you have to live with the fact that you're the dork traveling with a Nanaka Smitch, TM. And the Joy-Cons are actually detachable. And it works? Man, these bootleggers are getting more and more advanced. I'll give them that. Now, I'm not gonna link you to where you can buy one of these because that's probably illegal, but I will show you the advertisement picture they used. BAM! New Innovamos. I don't know what that means, but according to Google Translate, it means new and innovative. Excuse you? Now this thing sounds pretty cool. I mean, it's got consola rechargeable and 800 huegos instalados. I mean, come on, those are pretty tasty. I love instalados. Surprisingly enough as well, the console does come with RCA cables, meaning you can hook this piece of garbage up to your TV. I never would have expected that. The Nanaka Smitch is more of a Switch than the Switch Lite. Think about that for a second. But of course, the big selling point for this console are the 800 games it comes with. So enough flip-flapping around. Let's see what the Nanaka Smitch truly has to offer. So, here's the thing with 800 games. No, you don't need 800 games at once, at any time, for any reason. Because at best, your reaction will always be... Oh, okay. NES games! NES games everywhere! I mean, come on, how many times have we looked at a multi-cart or some bootleg plug-and-play console, and it was just littered with random NES games? I mean, what you'd expect is on here. Here's Super Mario Bros. Can't have a bootleg console without it. Ooh, is that Zelda? Daring today, aren't we? Double Dragon, Kirby, Adventures of Lolo! I'm more angry than I am surprised at this point when it comes to bootlegs. I'm in an abusive relationship with them. I know it's going to be a terrible time, but I keep coming back. However, there are always a few hidden gems on these bootlegs. If those gems were made out of horse crap. First game is... Uh, Dr. Mario and Pterodactyl. My favorite duo. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. Dr. Mary 2. First off, I have no idea where Dr. Mary 1 is. And secondly, why the heck is this on my Smitch? I mean, what is this? Is it literally just gonna be Dr. Mario? It is. It's Dr. Mario. Or excuse me, Dr. Mary. Whatever, I don't know what you want me to say. Dr. Mario is always a fun, relaxing, puzzle-solving experience. But what about the pterodactyl game? What's your deal? I'm sorry, you look sad. I didn't mean to yell. Okay, so I know I said I wasn't going to yell, but I absolutely lied! What is this? I'll tell you what this is. It's a reskinned Dr. Mario, but with a concept I'm not 100% on. In Dr. Mario, you're throwing pills to kill viruses. Simple enough. But here, you're puking out rhombuses into a tree to kill squid. The less we know, the better.
Lion King. Why is the Lion King one of the most bootleggable game series I've seen? We got Simba up here looking like, duh, with random vehicles flying by and a title screen that is driving my OCD crazy. All right, so we got Simba up here munching away. That's a good start. The game is a 2D side-scroller, and a pretty good one at that if we're being honest. I'm sure that's because this is actually a reskin of some NES game out there, but whatever, I'll take what I can get. The soundtrack also slaps hard, as the kids say. The game itself is also pretty hard. This ice level, for example, where you never stop sliding is unnecessary. Simba doesn't care, however. He never cares. When you get a game over, he's just sitting up there like, Yep, I guess the game's over. I don't care. Mario Five. What? Mario Fighter 3, the World Warrior. They probably mean World Warrior, but that's not what that says. Also, Yellow Granddad is here. What we have here is a 2D fighting game starring Street Fighter characters and Mario. <laughs> Mario looks so out of place compared to Ryu, and I don't even know how his moves work. He's super choppy and floaty. Like, look at this! Look at this move and explain it to me! Did he learn that attack from his Paper Mario ancestors? My strength is much greater than yours. Well, jeez, Mario, no need to be a jerk about it. Here we are beating up Guile in the bootleg Mushroom Kingdom. I don't even know what video games are anymore. So out of curiosity, I decided to beat the story mode and see what would happen. I beat the crap out of Viga, you know, famous Street Fighter character Viga. A man who comes from Taiwan had fiery crimson skin. His name was Mario. He created a sensation in American wrestling domain. Mario has exercised many kinds of stunts. What is this lore we're creating? At least we now know who to thank for this game. Thank you, Mr. or Mrs. XXXXX. Oh my goodness gracious, another one? Super The Lion King 2, and that music. That's the music from Donkey Kong Country! Don't drag that game into this mess! This is all starting to make a lot of sense now. So we have a butchered 8-bit version of Minecart... Uh, madness from Donkey Kong Country. The controls are super awkward and stiff. It literally took me 20 minutes to get used to them and beat the first level. I'm not proud of myself. Level 2 is more Donkey Kong Country nonsense, and my childhood feels violated. Donkey Kong Country was one of my absolute favorite games of all time when I was a kid. I have nothing but fond memories of it. And here, it just looks like they threw the game into a blender, puked in said blender, mixed it up, and this is the result. Ugly graphics, broken controls, music that sounds like it's given up. Level 3 is a boss battle with a mustachioed Neki. Again, it's kinda difficult since the controls are the big awful. So I kill Neki and... That's... the end? Three levels? We... did it? Yeah, boy! 800 games, man. I can't sift through all of that just to find one that's maybe good. Wait, what's this? Oh my goodness! Communist Mario 3! This is actually a dream come true. Look at Mario in his little Russian coat and hat, traveling the icy landscapes that is Soviet Russia. Now it's kinda hard to tell at first, but the game is actually just a one-to-one -one recreation of Super Mario Bros. 3. 
But with one major difference. Normally in Mario games, collecting coins is good. Get enough and you'll receive a 1-up. But here, since we're now in communist Russia, collecting coins hurts you. And since the game is laid out like Super Mario Bros. 3, there are a lot of coins in very convenient places that you now have to avoid. Yibinyamat! Let's check out the Toad House. The state's goods are free, but the price you pay is waiting in line for nine hours. Listen, man, I'm not here to get political. I just want to hear the song! Thank you! It honestly feels like this game was made for me. The game is really creative and super fun, but I will not say that it's the best game, because here, all games are equal. So that was the Colombian Namaka Smitch. It doesn't even sound like I'm saying words. It sucked, obviously. It has no reason to exist. But hopefully, it will go down in history as one of the most bootlegged bootlegs to ever bootleg. Maybe I just need to become a bootleg myself, you know? Just fully embrace it. So, this isn't a console for me, but it is one for Conroy the French Toast. That sounds terrible enough. My friendship with waffles is over! I'm just kidding, I could never do that.